This conference will now be recorded. So I'll be recording our next topic that is maintenance practice. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are okay. Maintenance task list overview. We'll understand what is maintenance task list, what is task list, what is the importance of task list, why we need to use a task list, what are the different types of task lists are there. Okay. Maintenance task list structure, how the structure of the main task list looks like. Then component assignment to the operations, we will see. Then package assign, packages assignment to the operations, we will see this. And finally, configuration related to task list. So these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, task list, okay? So basically, in the, in the preventive maintenance process flow, we created in the previous session, we created the maintenance strategy. Okay. After the maintenance strategy, we need to create the task list. So now in the maintenance strategy, we just define the cycles, packages. Okay. But now during the preventive maintenance, what tasks you need to perform? So those are entered in the task list. Okay. So this is the maintenance task list describe a sequence of individual maintenance activities which must be repeatedly performed within a company so basically in the task list you maintain the activities you are going to perform okay during the maintenance activity task list defines the series of standard operations to be performed on an object or object independent basis also so you can create a task list for equipment or you can create a common one, which I will show it in the system. So basically in the task list, you define the standard operations, series of standard operations you are going to perform during the preventive maintenance. Okay, suppose in the company, specific maintenance work should be performed for all pumps at regular intervals. Okay, so suppose let's say you are doing the uh, maintenance work of a pump, okay? So at regular intervals. So during this time, you do some uh, activities, operations like switching of the um, uh, this thing, uh, connection, safety check, disconnecting power supply of the pump, and so on. So all these are maintained in the task list. So the the sequence of steps, the sequence of operations are maintained in the task list. List of tasks. Therefore, these operations are grouped together in one task list, which can be used repeatedly for different maintenance order. So you put all these ones in a task list, and this task list operations can be used in different orders. Okay, so we have three types of task list: equipment task list. You can create a task list for equipment, and you can create a task list for a functional location, functional location task list. And you can create a general maintenance task. List. That means common one. The task list which does not refer to any equipment or any functional location. It's a general one. So we have three types basically: equipment task list, functional location task list, general maintenance task list. Okay. So this is the one we are discussing. So basically, in the task list, you maintain the operations you are going to perform in the sequential manner. Like you see here, switch off, dismantle, clean, reassemble, you will maintain the operations in the sequential. Okay. So now let's go and start creating the task list. Okay. First, we'll start with the equipment task list. Okay. Okay. Let me log into the system. Okay, so uh, we already have a structure. Okay, let us take our equipment. Okay, if I click on expand whole, we have this 500 kVA diesel generator. For this, I'll create a task list. Okay, so let me open one more session. Okay, I'll show you the navigation path. Go to logistics, go to plan maintenance, 
Okay, here you have preventive maintenance. Open this. Maintenance planning. Open this. Sorry, not this one. Go to work scheduling. Here you have task list. Open this. Here for equipment. Open this. IA01. The team code is IA01. Double click. Here, create equipment task list. You need to enter your equipment. Okay. So what is the equipment code? This is our equipment code. Enter the equipment here. Okay. Now here, profile. I'll explain the profile when we go to the, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, configuration. As of now, just I'll select the first one. Okay. Now enter. Okay. First, it will take you to the header. header. We are in the header. Here, I'll maintain as, okay, wait a maintenance of, Maintenance of 500 kVA diesel generator. Okay, so this is the one. Now it proposed the work center plant from the equipment. Now usage where this task list is going to be used in the plan maintenance planner group. Who is the planner group responsible for this? Okay, I'll select as of now YB1. Okay, now status, what is the status? So what is the status of this? I'll put it in the released mode, general. Okay, just one minute. Okay, so it is it is in the general mode. Okay, so now here you have the strategy. In the previous previous class, we discussed the strategy. Okay, so I'll assign the time-based strategy. This one, own diet time-based strategy. Okay, assign the strategy. Enter. So now we entered the header data. Now you need to click on this button, operation. So here you need to enter all the operations you are going to carry out. This work center is proposed from equipment, plant and control key. Okay, so now here you have to enter all the operations you are going to perform. You can enter one by one, but just to save the time, I'll copy from an Excel file. I identified some operations. Okay. Just enter the operations. Now here the number of people doing this activity and the time required. Okay, so what I will do, I'll just put all two, two hours. Okay, just to, I'm just copying from Excel file and you put the, this one, so that it will calculate the duration. What is the calculation key? Key is the duration, right? Okay, so now let me enter the number of hours required. Okay, so let me just copy from Excel. File. Okay, done. Enter. It calculated the duration. Four hours is the work required. Two people will be doing this. Four divided by two, two hours. Like this, it has calculated. Okay. So now I identified these are operation like clean the machine, oil top up, replace the gasket, replace the pairing. I identified these ones. Okay. So now what? Now we have the operations, but which operations has to be executed? during which cycle that we need to do the package assignment we have to do okay so that package assignment here we are here i'll come to the components the package assignment we need to do okay so what i will do here you see there is a button maintenance pack click on that button here you see these are all operations and these are the packages so these packages are coming from your strategy which you entered on the header i'll show you again if you go to header in the header we have assigned this strategy from this strategy system is picking up the cycles packages and it is proposing here if you go to maintenance pack you see two weeks maintenance one month three months six months one year two year okay so now i'll assign the packages to the operation so let's say first three operations are performed only during two weeks for every two weeks okay so let us assign the packages 
to the operations. This is done. Now again, I will go to operations. Go back. Okay, go to operations. Okay, so now here, replace the gasket. You need a gasket here. Okay, so now what you can do is, you can assign the components to the operations. Okay, so let's say this one, just give me one. Okay, so for the operations, wherever you need a spare part, you can assign that spare part. Okay, so if you see here, you need a gasket, replace the gasket. Okay, replace the gasket. So here, select the operation. Here you see there is a button, components here. You see here there is a button, click on that. Okay, once you click on that, system will take to here. And here, click on this button again, component selection. So now it will take you to the bomb of that equipment. In our master data classes, we created bombs, right? So here you see, it is bringing the bomb of that equipment. So now you need a gasket, select the gasket, select it, click on the button, choose. It will copy over here. Okay, now go back. Okay, now here, replace the bearing. You need a bearing. Select the operation, go to components, component selection, and you need a bearing, select the bearing, click on the button, choose. So this is the place where the bombs are used. Okay, suppose if the, if suppose let's say the uh, spare part is not available in the bomb, then you can enter it directly also. Suppose if you say replace the coupling, select the operation, go to components, component selection, here there is no coupling. So then you can enter the material code directly also. You can enter directly also here. Okay, I'll, I'll search from here. Okay, you see here there is a coupling. Enter the material code and enter the quantity. Okay, so the point to be noted here is either you can select the spare part from the bomb or you can enter directly. 